We all know that feeling. You are playing a beloved game from the past and you're thinking, damn, it would be so cool to play this with modern graphics. And honestly, there are way too many games that make us feel like that. So all we need is a remaster or remake. Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Luca from Fado Gaming and here are five games that absolutely deserve a remaster or remake. And I bet you probably don't have all of these games on your radar. But before we start, what games would you want to see a remaster or remake of? Tell me in the comments. I mean, honestly, it's a bit ridiculous that we don't already have a remastered version of Xenoblade Chronicles X. This game deserves a proper remaster on the Switch or whatever comes after because of one simple reason. It's still stuck on the Wii U, a console that sold less than 50 million units. Xenoblade Chronicles X is a very unique game. It's way more sci-fi focused than the other three games in the series. You even get to fly around and fight big monsters in a mech, which you can customize the shit out of. I personally didn't play Xenoblade Chronicles X since I don't own a Wii U, but I heard its world is even larger than the world of Breath of the Wild and its approach to exploration is kind of similar to what Nintendo did with Zelda. After the success of all the Xenoblade games, I think it's high time Xenoblade Chronicles X gets a remastered version on the Switch, as it would finally be available to a larger audience. And thanks to the reputation of the Xenoblade series and the great reviews of Chronicles X, this would sell like hotcakes. I think all this game needs is a graphical refinement with higher resolution and maybe a slimmer HUD. Hopefully Marvelous Soft is already working on this. Come on, this is a no-brainer, right? With all the great games Square Enix remastered or remade in the last years, it's surprising Chrono Trigger didn't get that 2D HD treatment yet. Or some kind of other remake. I mean, we got FF7 remake, Trials of Mana, Live Alive, Dragon Quest 3 gets a remake soon, Starship 1 and 4 remastered, and 2 is being remade, and the list goes on and on. Of course, all these games are great, and all of them deserve a remake, but honestly, Chrono Trigger is easily one of the greatest RPGs ever created. So what is Square Enix taking so long? There are already rumors about a Chrono Trigger remake, and I hope all of them are true. I think this deserves a remake because more people should be able to experience this. While it is available on Steam, 3DS, and there are even other ways to play this, a proper remake on modern consoles would be a great way to get this masterpiece to as many people as possible. I mean, imagine the hype a remake of one of the best RPGs ever made with Spark. You know, I think this will definitely happen. I kinda already called this Star Ocean 2 remake in a video I did a few weeks back. So maybe a Chrono Trigger remake will become reality too. What do you think? Do you want this masterpiece to be remade? Or do you think this should be untouched and the original version is perfect the way it is? Tell me in the comments. Do you know Terranigma? If not, then maybe that's because this game got released relatively late in the SNES's life cycle. The Nintendo 64 and PlayStation 1 were about to release, but Annex and Nintendo released this game in 1995 on the SNES. And unfortunately, it didn't get the attention it deserved because many people were already playing 3D games. Terranigma is an action RPG with a very similar combat system to Secret of Mana or Psychonauts Zetsu 3, only more fluid. The real tragedy here is that Terranigma was such a unique game that was way ahead of its time. Your task is nothing less than to become God and create a world. For that you have to explore the underworld, beat a couple of dungeons and see the continents, animals and humans in the overworld come to life. Once the world is fully created, the whole game world changes too. Now you can explore your creation in all its beauty and with all its downsides. I think this deserves a remake because the dark story, the concept of creating a world on your own, where your decisions have an effect on how the world is shaped, and the combat system would still hold up great today. It doesn't really matter if this gets a 2D HD remake or an elaborate 3D remake like Trials of Mana with overall gameplay mechanics. Either way, it would be a joy to play this again on modern consoles. But it's up to Square Enix to bring this underrated masterpiece back. Do you know this game and would you want to play a remake of this? Tell me in the comments. Another game that didn't get the attention it deserved. Alondra is a PS1 exclusive action adventure and is probably the best Zelda-like game I've ever played. In Alondra you play as, well, Alondra, 
who arrives in the village of Inoa, only to find out that an evil wizard is controlling the dreams of people living there. Alonjo's task as a dreamwalker is to free the people from their nightmares, because having one usually ends up in death. That makes for a dark and mature story full of emotional moments and a great cast of characters. The best part about Alonjo, however, is exploring the world, getting new weapons that always function as a tool for solving puzzles too, and beating dungeon after dungeon. Alondra absolutely deserves a remaster because it just isn't available on the PlayStation Network anymore, so the only way to play this is either through emulation or actually owning the game on the PS1, which can get quite pricey. And again, this game is an underrated masterpiece. It has some mind-bending puzzles, an incredible world to explore, brilliant dungeons and bosses, and a fantastic soundtrack. More people should be able to enjoy this piece of art and a remaster, or even a remake, would be the best way to make this happen. In the meantime, Sony could at least bring it back to the PlayStation Network. But I asked you guys, do you know Alandra and have you played it? Tell me in the comments. Do I really need to say anything? Whenever a human talks about remasters that they want, someone talks about Bloodborne, and today that's me. If we are all completely honest, we don't really need a remaster of Bloodborne. It's available on one of the best-selling consoles of all time and quite cheap to buy. But we all just want a remastered version. Bloodborne still looks incredible, but looking at the graphical improvements of Dark Souls Remastered and the Demon Souls remake, one can only dream how Bloodborne would look with that sweet PS5 graphics and 60fps. Of course, a remastered version would also be a great way to finally bring this masterpiece to PC, which honestly is long overdue. That's actually all I have to say about a Broadbound remaster. It's a no-brainer and a crime Sony and From Software didn't already release a remaster. But here's my theory. Dark Souls 1 was released in 2011 and the remastered version in 2018. So Bloodborne was released in 2015. So add 7 years and you get... Well, you get 2022, so that doesn't add up. But if you take Demon's Souls, which was released in 2009, and then look at the remake, which was released in 2020, that makes 11 years. So maybe we get a Bloodborne remake in 2026? Ah, fuck that, that's a stupid theory. But that only shows how desperate I am to get a remaster, which I would play this shit out of. What about you guys? Would you want a remaster version of Bloodborne, or is that something you don't care about? at all? Tell me in the comments. So there you have it, 5 games that desperately need a remaster or remake. If you missed a game here, be sure to check out my first video on that. What games would you want to see a remaster or remake of? Tell me in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.